Intro! The thermite reaction was discovered and patented in the 1890s by a German chemist and ever since then we've all been left in awe with the show this reaction produces. Today we look at six fascinating thermite facts. Number one. Thermite is the name given to a range of compounds that have a metal powder fuel and metal oxide, but mostly when referring to thermite, we're talking about a mixture of aluminium powder, or if you're one of our American views, aluminium and iron oxide. Number two. When ignited, thermite undergoes an exothermic redox reaction. A redox reaction is the name given when a chemical reaction changes an atom's oxidization state. That's what's happening when our aluminium steals iron's oxide to become aluminium oxide. The tag of exothermic refers to the reaction producing a lot of heat. In fact, the temperature of this reaction, in the case of our aluminium and iron oxide mix, can be as high as 2500 degrees Celsius, which is about a million squillion degrees Fahrenheit if you still use that measurement. Once started, the thermite reaction seems unstoppable. It can even carry on reacting when underwater. Number three. Today, thermite is used to make awesome videos like on go repairs, but it also has other uses too, primarily cutting or welding metals. A mixture of aluminium and copper oxide, for example, is used to weld thick copper conductors together. Number four. Thermite has had a dark past and was used as a triggering mechanism in incendiary bombs in both World War I and World War II. Incendiary bombs were dropped on civilian targets on purpose in an attempt to bring the war to an end earlier. It seems it wasn't the Germans who initiated this, however, with the British and American forces using this tactic of burning alive men, women and children indiscriminately. A tactic today we would recognise as an act of terror. Isn't it interesting how things change? One ingenious use of thermite in warfare came from sabotage. It said soldiers would disable artillery pieces by placing thermite grenades inside the breaches, welding them permanently closed. Number 5 It was proposed by a retired scientist from NASA, who as it turns out was a hydrogen fuel advocate, that thermite was responsible for the famous Hindenburg disaster, which saw 36 people die in a fiery ball. When you look at the details, it turns out the outer skin of the Hindenburg was made from 100% cotton and treated with a type of aviation paint referred to as dope. The dope would stiffen the outer skin of the Zeppelin, making it more taut and aerodynamic. It also offered protection from the rain. However, aluminium and iron oxide were mixed into the dope for their properties of reflection and heat insulation. While the thermite wasn't the sole reason for the disaster, it was however an active ingredient when the Hindenburg caught fire. Number 6 in more recent times, some people have claimed thermite was used to bring down the World Trade Center in the 11th of September terrorist attacks that happened on American soil. To this day, people are still trying to get to the bottom of this tragedy and what actually caused these buildings to fall in such a suspicious manner. If you fancy making your own thermite or you just want to see the reaction for yourself, then check out my How to Make Thermite video.